Hi, so in a previous video we talked about the column method of formal multiplication, which is where we had two numbers, say something like 16 times 8, and we knew that the 6 and the 8 are both units, the 1 is a 10, and we both wrote the 2 in a column and then we multiplied through. Well, we can still use the same thing with something called partitioning, and what we mean by that is that that 1 represents 10, and that 6 represents 6 units. So in other words, if we multiply 10 by 8 and multiply 6 by 8 and add the two together, then effectively we've partitioned the number in order to perform our calculation. So let's do that. So 10, I'll write it here, 10 times 8 equals 80, and 6 times 8 equals 48. If we now add the two together, that will give us an answer of 128. And that's exactly the same answer that we'll come to by using the formal uh, column arithmetic method. However, what partitioning allows us to do is if we have some more sophisticated numbers, let's say we've got a four digit number. Let's say we've got something like 1200 and 42, and we want to multiply that by 7. Well, we need to then recognize that the 2 is units, the 4 is tens, the 2 is 100s, and the 1 is thousands. So we can break this number down into its component parts. So this number then becomes 1000 multiplied by 7, which equals 7000. This number is 200 multiplied by 7, which equals 1400. 4 multiplied by 7, or 40 multiplied by 7, which equals 280. And 7 multiplied by 2, or 7 units, a big band, 2 units multiplied by 7, which equals 14. Now one of the things to note here is that I'm keeping everything in the correct decimal placing. So all of the zeros and the 4 here is in the units column. The zeros, the 8 and the 1 are both in the tens column. And the 4 and the 2 are in the uh, hundreds column and the 7 and 1 are in the thousands column. And it's really important that if you are breaking numbers down into partitions that you keep the columns in the right place. What I'm going to do now is add them all up. So 4, 9, 6, 8. So in other words, the answer to 1,242 multiplied by 7 is 8,694. So partitioning will allow you to break down some fairly sophisticated numbers um, and uh, work out the calculation that way. I hope that's okay. If you look on the site, you will see there are some question papers and you can have a go at those and see how you get on.